happening everybody what is going on good morning jonathan what's going on facebook <clears throat> all right so let's see what's happened in the spot market today eddie what's going on eddie nice talking to you yesterday you know what i'm saying um we welcome moon fleet to the team let's see what old moon flea's up to uh, maybe he woke up. I don't know. Uh, here, let me see if he's up yet. He could be up. Probably sleeping. You know, he he got his uh, he got his fill. He thought that uh, Northerners couldn't uh, barbecue, but we smoked some ribs, three racks of them. And uh, knocked his socks off, right? He he thought it was some good ribs, so we had all the fixings anyway. We had a good meal. That's how you uh, have orientation, right? Anthony, what's going on? Good morning. Uh, Shannon, up and ready to roll. See, she's up. Uh, Miss Moonflea, she's up. Light bright, what's going on? Yep, prayers for all. There you go, Light Bright. Uh, yeah, so we had a good meal. Uh, all the fixings. Uh, the wife worked hard on that. Uh, she did the. She grilled the chicken. I smoked the ribs, and uh, you know, good stuff. Good stuff, anyway. Was he getting ready to take off? Is that what he's doing? He's getting ready to drive out of there. <clears throat> so that's what's happening. Uh, we're just hanging out. Good to talk a little bit about the spot market this morning. What's up, James G? So anyway, here we go. Let's let's get this let's get the show on the road. ELD's working good, I guess. It, it, it worked yesterday. Um, so it looks like, you know, it's flawless. Uh, I like that ELD, by the way. Uh, anyway, so congratulations uh, to our, our new contractors that come on. Uh, yesterday, um, orientation wasn't that bad. Great folks. What's up, Bill Everly? What's going on? So, uh, we had to make sure that, that John was full. I think he likes the wife's baked beans because, you know, she made them in a cast iron skillet on the grill because he had a lot of them. I, I feel bad for Shannon probably um, last night, but um, he loved those beans, so... Whenever you want a good meal, John, just route yourself back up here. You know, we'll barbecue again. He might go get one of those grills. I think he likes that grill. He might go get one. He might go get one. Um, all right, so let's look at the density map. One, two, three, load board. That's what we use uh, to show what's going on. And so here we go. Bang, there it is. This is the density map for van. Uh, and, see, John has the inside knowledge of the studio we have here to broadcast this. Uh, showing them to him yesterday. So here's a feature, you know, that, that he, you know, he might like. So I'll come down here and I just throw that up there like that. And then, you know, I could do the Superman thing like that. But, okay, so anyway, we're, we're rolling. This is a density map. We're zooming in. And you can see there's a lot less red for Van. Um, we got a lot more of these oranges that were reds. That's a good sign. Arizona's green. Can you believe it's green, folks? Can you believe Arizona is green? Look at that. There is more outbound and in interstate loads than inbound in Texas. Let's see what Arizona's got. Arizona has more leaving out and everything. Uh, Guten Morgan there. You're not 
what's going on? So that is a huge plus right there. And of course we have the green all through here in the middle of the Midwest. Yes, Nevada is orange. Um, not, not too far away from going green. Washington is orange. Oregon is orange. Uh, all this, almost the seven westerly states, almost. One, two, three, four, five, you know, six, seven, you, you almost got them. Montana still reeling. Um, so rich, not the Italian stallion rich, but the other rich. Um, not, you know, that's Montana. North Dakota, look at that, 34-7. South Dakota. South Dakota is going to be turning because you see the outbound and all that's raising. So South Dakota will be turning. Uh, Wisconsin, not looking bad. Of course, you know, Missouri, Illinois, Snorlord country, Missouri. Yeah, green means good, man. Green, yellow, red. Kind of like the, kind of like the stop, stoplight version. That's I think that's what uh, Lauren and the great folks at 123 Load Board, uh, you know, Red, yellow, green, stop, caution, go, you know, that good stuff. Uh, the discount code is at the top of the screen. Up there. You can get everything on here. Premium plus $35 a month. Um, oh, Mrs. Moon Flea. I'll send you a text message. I'll send one to John. Um, well, I think you already got the. I think you already got that. But I'll make sure. I'll make sure. Um, this is not that. Okay, so here we go. Let's get out of here, and let's just see what is shaking. Yeah. Uh, that that they just charge way too much money. Now we don't have nothing for that. Um, I've never contacted that. That's never contacted me. Uh, I just I don't know. I just don't like their price structure. Same thing with truckstop.com. I don't like their price structure either. On that on that load board. Do I have those load boards? Of course I do because they're a carrier. We got them all. Um, but their price structure, we want to charge for every little piece, you know, oh, but you know, you pay a little more and you get this, pay a little more and you get this. And you know, one thing I don't like about truckstop.com is you got so many advertisements on there. Unbelievable. Why have a, why are you charging a, a monthly fee then? It should be free. I mean, if you're going to advertise, if I want to see advertisement, that thing better be free. You know, it better be free. You know, Anthony, day one carrier, there's a lot of them. Uh, Convoy, Uber, uh, BNSF probably, um, U.S. Logistics, and, and so on and so on. All you got to do is call and ask. That's why I said if you're, if you're thinking about uh, getting your own authority, 123 Load Board is the only load board that's going to let you get on there with no MC or DOT number. Um, they'll let you try it out. If you use that code, because I know if you're watching this channel, more likely uh, you're going to go on with somebody that has the authority or you're going to get your own authority. And they will let you access that load board to do your research. Because, you know, how are you supposed to make an informed decision if you can't do the research? Uh, no other load board is going to do that. They're not going to do it. Mm -hmm. So, here we go. Tewksbury, Mass. 150 mile radius. There's 50 loads today and tomorrow. We're doing this for the Italian Stallion to see, to see, to see, to see what's up in his area. Oh, wait a minute. I got, I got something else on there. Here we go. Massachusetts, Illinois. And I got it sorted by posted age. We can go down here and do it per rate per mile if we want, or highest rate, all that good stuff. 
Sandy Hook, Connecticut to Baltimore, Maryland, 134. 500 bucks. Chop tank. Chop tank. Um, I should call Rich up. Tell Rich about this load. Maybe it'll help him out. Maybe it won't. Uh, Massachusetts, we're trying to find one in Pennsylvania. Maryland's pretty close, right? Maryland's pretty close. Edge Logistics, that's for Friday. He doesn't need that. He needs one today. Um, Dave Connecticut to Pennsylvania. And so on. But if we take this, look, this thing right here and we take out uh, the dates... 149 loads. We can see race post rate per mile, so we can see if anything's coming up out of there. Massachusetts, Massachusetts, 370 mile, 300 bucks, 500, dollar 90, connect to Maryland, and 400, 159 a mile, Massachusetts, PA. What's good about this load board is for all this money, you know, for the $35, that little bit of money, you get all these tools. You can hit profit calculator. So you exactly what your profit is after fuel, after tolls. So you can put your fuel in here. Uh, your miles per gallon, here's your tolls, and if you have a fee, 20%, then it shows you that right there automatically. If you don't have a fee, then you're good to go with that. And then you can do rate check. Boom. So it's just 27 cents above the last two-week average. Nice graph right here. Kind of rides out your day trading for the folks that do that. Here's your back calls. You can just click it right away, and it'll take you right to the back calls, the 18 of them, and there they are. And then you just click out the X, you're back to here. And you can look at the company, Cowan Systems. You can check their credit rating. They got a 33-day to pay on average, 93 credit score, B with Thunder Funding, 36 days to pay. And Thunder Funding um, is the best factoring company great people great customer service they answer the phone and like just a couple of rings and anybody there can answer your question you don't have to have a certain person or be sent to a certain person uh, pc miler click on it and there's the route boom all that stuff and of course it gives you all this stuff over here that profit calculator right there rate check you can just check a rate M.G. Jackson, I'm with you, man. I'm with you. It does not matter what the broker makes. It matters what the truck makes. Oh, you know, should we get into that argument? Should we get into that argument? There's people out there that think the broker should only make 5%. They think that they should only make, you know, 10%. Some people say 3%. Some people say 15%. Well, how about this? If, if you say that... The broker should only make five percent on the load. What what's the what's them to say that the truck the truck driver should only make five percent on the load? I mean a business is a business. It's about negotiating. What can you get? It's supply and demand. If everybody just got paid the same, you just got paid the same. There would be no need for a broker. You know, the shippers could just post it out there and then everybody just go there and grab it because they all know it's, you know, X amount of dollars. And if you don't like the playing field, then you do something to change it. I listened to one of the other YouTube websites the other day or last night. Um, I watched a lot of different YouTube channels lately and it was Freight Broker Live and a lot of people don't like Frank Broker Live. Uh, a lot of people don't like that Truckers Podcast, um, Super Trucker Podcast, and all them guys, and, and so forth. And and you got all different types of YouTube channels out there. Well, I was on there, and I, he had a call-in call in show. Uh, you know, that's, that's the going thing. And uh, a lady was on there, and she said she was a broker for like seven years, got her own truck, now she's a carrier. She's complaining about brokers. Now, 
Let me ask you something. There's one way to fix it. Nothing stops her from going to get her broker's license, going to get her broker authority. Nothing. All you need is some money. If you don't like it, get your own broker authority. Get your own loads. That way, if you can't cover the load, you can broker it out. There's always ways in business to change things. If you if you regulate something, then you know, and it only, this only came about because of this COVID nineteen thing, folks. You know, back in twenty eighteen when when the supply was huge in the trucks, the demand was you know. There's not enough trucks. Truck drivers are making money hand over fist. And boy, you didn't hear nobody crying. You heard them bragging, right? You heard them bragging all over the place. You heard them bragging. Now they're crying, right? But see, this, is, this isn't the broker's fault. It's not the shipper's fault. It's the government's fault. It's the government's fault because they shut down the country. Thus stopping production. Thus stopping freight. You want to blame anybody, you blame the government. You blame your own state's government for shutting down your state. Then there's going to be people saying, well, it's a health thing, and it's this thing, and it's that thing. Here's the thing about it. There's only one way to do it. It's not transparency and all this other garbage. Because if you put transparency on that, then why can't they have transparency on your company, where you got to list your company and how much it really costs you to go per mile. So everybody's transparency would be different because everybody had to be a, a different company, right? So why don't you do one thing? I came up with the great solution. Great solution. That way it doesn't affect anybody and the government isn't in your business. Here's the solution. If See, the government could put this into place. If there's a national disaster, pandemic, whatever, and if you could say three-fourths of the country shuts down, which is going to, or you could even say half, if half the state shut down, which is going to put a big ripple in the freight industry, then a minimum rate per mile goes into effect until... The tragedy is over. The pandemic is over. The national disaster is over. That would solve the problem, right? It wouldn't be, can you give me, you know, since I work during this uh, truck, during this time frame, you know, I should get X amount more per money as a stimulus. You wouldn't even need that. It would be, boom, all these states are shut down. Automatic. This is what goes in there. Shippers know that they got to pay that. Brokers know that's what's got to be put out there. If the load pays more, you know, you could still ask for more, but you'd be set at a minimum, right? Say two dollars, two fifty, whatever. And if everybody would get that, no matter what you haul, until the country is opened back up. Therefore, you wouldn't have all these businesses going, you know, truck drivers going out of business and so forth and so forth. You know, there you go. MG Jack says, if you cannot sustain your business, change of plan or get out of the business. MG, uh, Eddie says, MG, you say the you say that, but right now, if you just sit and uh, turn down loads, you can go broke. It's easy to say, don't take the freight, but everyone still has bills. That's right, Eddie. I mean, that's true. Not everybody's business is equal. Not everybody's equal. You know? Some people have low truck payments. Some people have no truck payments. Some people have new equipment. Some people don't. You know, it's, it's you know, some people have more house bills than other people. Just depends on how, what you got, what you're doing. So everybody is different. All shippers are different. Everybody is different. See, the problem with 2018 was, M.G. Jackson, here's the problem with 2018. 2018 is when a lot of people came into the spot market because, it was, it was so good, and they never 
they never worked the open market or were on with like Landstar that really is open market closed load board they never worked in any place like that and all they know was that price and then they lived to that price because it took like a whole year and a little more and they started living at that expense and then they bought trucks and they bought this and they bought that and it's like no what goes up comes down just like the stock market but you know we have a, a huge downflow right now so that's that you know there's there's only one way you could do it you you would have to have an emergency declaration on there so if this happens boom this is what it is that way it doesn't stop the freight and the flow of freight and what's going on so that's one way or you could just leave it and say nothing and the strong survive and in you know the weak go away just like in any business but see then you got like here they have a barber that said i'm opening up the shop he's i think he's like 70 years old in Owasso. he said i had enough I'm going bro i gotta i gotta make money so i'm gonna shop up and then they of course the governor find him and all this but people pool money together and paid his fines and because he's unconstitutional now if you look at wisconsin their supreme court there in the state says boom no you can't be doing this to people you can't be shutting down the state like this you can't be telling them they can't do this can't do that it's unconstitutional when they lock down things do stuff it borders on socialism and that's what our constitution is to protect but see a lot of americans they don't remember freedom constitution because as long as they can go to the walmarts and the piggly wigglies and whatever they want to go shopping at and get their little items you can pretty much do whatever you want to them and they will just go with it especially if you hand them free money you dole them out free money tell them to sit at home you'll make more money sitting on your butt in the couch they'll do whatever they don't care they'll do whatever you tell them Maybe if they were in the military before, maybe if they fought in a war, maybe they, if they fought for their country and their freedom, they would be a lot more PO'd about the whole situation. <clears throat> All right, off of that, we're back on one, two, three, load board. Here we go. All right, there's Massachusetts. Let's cruise on over to uh, Texas. Let's see what's coming out of Texas. Shoot, let's put Dallas in there. Dallas. 150 miles anywhere, 275. You need to vote out your governor. She's a real whack job. She, <laughs> hey, man, all you got to do is look at Facebook and everybody's on there. You'll, you'll know. $400, 212 a mile, 206 a mile, 550. Uh, this is in-state Texas. Ooh, I got a message. All right, let's see what we got here. All right, Manning's truck, Ennis, Texas, and Nash, Texas. We got a bunch of in, uh, in-state Texas moves, which is, you know, pretty good. Uh, $2,700 Washington, dollar twenty-seven. I would not take that load. Um, it's way below the two-week average two weeks ago, dollar fifty-five. They're down to dollar twenty-seven. Call up Sherway Transportation. Tell them no way. There's their phone number. Tell Nick. Say, Nick, get a clue. Um you know, because you can look at the profit calculator and see that. But some people will take it uh, because, you know, it's 2700 bucks, and they look at the gross. <clears throat> and it, the, the thing is having low cost, low overhead, right? Low overhead is the key in business. And some people live beyond their means right they live beyond their means and then when something happens they get in trouble all right so now we go to 
Carlsbad, California. Say hi to Willie and Scott. Nine hundred and forty-eight loads. California's rock, and that's why it's green. That's why it's green. Look at these loads coming out of here. Eleven $1 hundred dollars. Santa Fe Springs, California. Surprise, Arizona. Boom. Eleven hundred bucks. Three oh five. That's not the home of one two three, John. Carlsbad, California is home of Thunder Funding. That is the home. See, it's the home of Thunder Funding, right there. Boom. Let's slide that over. That's who the home is right there. Who says today's I say you can use emergency COVID-19 hour suspension? Who cares about that? Our guys have never used it. Didn't have to use it. No one really had to use it. Because most of the loads had appointments. How can it be an emergency? How could it be anything if you have an appointment? All that freight, water and everything, supposed to be emergency that had an appointment. So really, come on, people. You know, whatever. Right, Eddie? It all had, a, it all had a, 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 an appointment. So well, who even cares about it? It doesn't didn't make you any more money. You know, people just did it because, oh, wow, look at me. I'm just running around with no log, but woo-wee. Who cares? More power to you. But most of those people that did, I mean, you can hear them. They're all crying. They're all crying. We all, we all watch social media. Boy, they were running. They were running like a bandit, weren't they? A renegade, yeah. A real desperado out there in the trucking industry. You know, you go back to that old CB lingo back in you know the eighties and nineties. Yeah, they were real desperado, man. Ooh, they were getting it. Yeah, but you know what? You were running six thousand miles a week with no hour search drop and hook. But you know what? I guarantee you, I guarantee you, you can take it to the bank. If you would have got in an accident, a fatality accident, you'd be in prison. That hours of service they took away, they'd have you for lunch, baby. I'm telling you. They'd have you for lunch. Because all they're going to prove is he was driving when he was tired. Because so you're, legally, they take it away. Legally, you're supposed to stop. And they can get you because there's no way you can do that. Because if you read the regulation, you had to take a 10-hour break when you got to your other end. Guarantee you, people didn't read that and didn't do it. You had to take a break. If you run, let's say you ran coast to coast 3,000 miles, and as soon as you stop, and took that load there. It doesn't matter if it was 150 miles. As soon as you stopped and dropped it off, you were supposed to take a 10-hour break. You're supposed to. <clears throat> it's in black and white. And go read it. All right. So, what's up, Light Bright? Yeah, because, you know... If that happened, boom, that would happen. Maybe rates would come back if they stopped the hour suspension. They should have never had the hour suspension, James G., because none of it was really necessary because they had so many trucks and freight. You know, when you have this and you have, see, here's where it was a bunch of BS. We had a driver take hand sanitizer up to New York, Waverly, New York up there. CVS. They made them sit five days before they unloaded them. Really? Okay, run up there with, you know, no logbook, no nothing. Run straight through, get there, because they need it. But then they make you sit for five days, unload it, when everybody else is out of sanitizer. Does that make any sense? No, absolutely not. They didn't need none of the stuff. <clears throat> none of the stuff that anybody delivered made any bit of difference. 
Do, 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 do. They didn't need the ventilators, right? We all we all seen that was a scam. Coyote Logistics, 302 a mile, right there to Utah. 273. It is 29 cents above the 302. But see, that's what I'm saying. I told my guys, don't don't do it. Don't run. To me, it's a don't run. Don't run without using the logbook. ELD. Why? For the fact that if you ran over somebody, you're going to prison. If you if you do if you put if you kill somebody, fatal accident, you're going to prison. Doesn't matter. You say, oh no, I had no regulation. They're gonna go and prove that you didn't have ample sleep. It's all over. Now you're in an eight by eight cell, which you are anyway in a truck, an eight by eight cell, but at least that one you can open the door when you want. And walk out and go wherever you want. You know? Hurry up and wait only happens in the military. Right, everybody made money in the 80s. Don, you're right. Because they had two or three logs. They all made money in the 80s. Uh, 1,400 Flagstaff. <laughs> That's why they call it a comic book. Right, Don? Um, yeah, you used to take... Uh, me two or three logbooks do what they were doing with none uh, without appointments back in the day, right? I mean, that was the norm back then, right? Boom, there's this, there's this thing right there. But now everything is uh, Sue Happy and, and all this other good stuff. So look at the great freight out of California. It's just rocking. That's the place to be. 273 a mile, 238. So you know what? If you want to go where the money is, take your happy old truck, quit your crying, run out, to, run out to L.A., run over to Arizona with the load, run Arizona back. Arizona's green. Let's check out Arizona. Let's go to Phoenix. See? And if anybody wants to call in, then call in right there and tell, tell all the stories you want. <clears throat> 2000 bucks, Arizona to Colorado, 236 a mile. Look how much that's above. Look at the freight popping out in the western states. Wyoming, 212, 212, Colorado, $1.93, Arizona to Moberly, Missouri. Look at that, folks. What you crying about? You can go out there. Boom, van vented. You know what that is, folks? It's vented van. What is it? Watermelons, potatoes? It's got to be something like that, right? It's vented van. Millions are running. They're running out of Florida. Probably coming out of Nogales, right? Go get some. All this vented van. Look, St. Louis, Missouri. Snow Lord. Wake up. Get on out there. Get you some of that hot dollar freight. Right? Get you some of that. $1.84. See, in trucking, you got to do what you don't want to do. Set of skirts for a trailer, uh, Rich Rappa, Italian Stallion. You can go right up there, you know, where you got to take the trailer to get it maintained. They will put them on for, I think it's 1100 bucks. Slap them on for like 1100 That's labor and all, I believe. I believe. Call them up. Ask them. Boom. So, you know, you take it up there, put it in there for the maintenance. Bam. You go to pick it up. Next day, it's done. Right? Installed and done. Rock and roll it out there. Might save a little fuel mileage. You know, who knows? Tempe, Arizona, Salt Lake City, dollar seventy-eight. The Dean, where's the Dean? The Dean's sitting over here in this part of the country. He should be over here because he loves running out there. He should be there. Look at this money. Look at it, folks. There you go. Eddie says, TNT Trailer Sales did mine for $800. Rich Rappa, call up TNT Trailer Sales and ask them. Or look on the look on the East Coast where you're at. Call some trailer sales. And TNT uh, is in uh, Michigan. Warren, Michigan. But you could call. You could call anybody over there on the East Coast. Pennsylvania, wherever. You know, you're going to be over by one. Right? When you're going to the Freightliner shop, call a trailer shop 
near them and ask them, hey, how much are skirts to put on my trailer? They're in Wayne, Michigan. Right, Wayne. Right off 275. So just call them up. Rich, right there in Harrisburg. There's got to be a trailer shop right there. Call them up and say, hey, how much are skirts to put on my trailer? Boom. Drop the trailer off. Take, take the truck over there. Get everything done at one shot. Yeah, use some of that Italian stallion money. Dollar <clears throat> fifteen. So see, look, folks, who would take Unison Freight Brokers? Who would take this dollar fifteen to Missouri when you can come up here and go to Missouri for a dollar eighty four? That just shows you. You say, no. You tell these people down here, dude, why would I want to take your load when I come up here and get sixty nine cents more per mile? And go up here to St. Louis. Or even a little more per mile. Another 25 cents and down to that. To Moberly, Missouri. Park your truck and go camping until uh, running is profitable again. Can't go camping, Don. Michigan won't let you camp. The governor here says we can't camp. Says, you know, campsites are 30 feet, 40 feet wide. You're too close to your neighbor. Can't camp. Don't understand it. You park your camper. It's like a house. You plug in. You hook up your sewer. Got your water. Neighbors over there, you ain't got to go over and shake hands on them or nothing. But you can't camp. Got your own bathrooms. Got your own water if you got an RV. It's stupid. That's why you call it socialism. That's why you call it, you know... Communism, socialism, whatever you want to call it. When you're told you can't do it anymore, can't use your stuff, can't go to your second house, can't do this, can't do that, what do you call it? What's your interpretation of it? Dollar <clears throat> forty-two, twenty-six more. Dollar sixty-eight. There it is. All right, so. Let's rock and roll. Let's go on over to uh, where you guys want to go. Eau Claire, Wisconsin. That's right. We're going to go to the cheese state. Boom. Here we are. 350, 350, 324. This is all short stuff. Dollar 95. Nina, Wisconsin, and Niagara Falls, West, in New York. Go there. Get a honeymoon. Whatever. See the falls. Um, it is 39 cents above. The dollar fifty-five at a dollar ninety-five. Right there, it is nice and neat for you. Here's our nice graph. I love that. And you know, yeah, we're going to PA. Don't you worry. Don't you worry. Um, let me see some. And we have the new app features that will probably be coming out. Right, new app features. Oh my god Oh my god A little little one two three action Lauren Metzen The man the myth the legend behind one two three low board right great group of folks man they have fun He's TikToking, right? He's TikToking. <laughs> uh, you gotta love it, man. You gotta love it. A little TikTok action. <laughs> Did that get you? <laughs> Did that get you, Eddie? Did that knock you out? Eddie says that knocked him out. Um, so anyway, it was good stuff. He's got another TikTok video. We played that yesterday. Right? We done that yesterday. He did do this though. Uh, in Canada. They're practicing uh, social. 
you know, distancing, right? Had a little, had a little mask on, thunder funding hat, you know, all that good stuff. Oh, I scared you with that one. <laughs> Take me So, there you go. Wisconsin's got that. Load board automatically updates. Bam. No longer available. So forth. Uh, we'll shoot over to Columbus, Ohio, and then we're out of here. We got things to do. Boom. Columbus, Ohio. Van Freight. 614 loads. A green state. Look at this, folks. Alexandria. Indiana to Duncansville, PA, 1,072, 238 a mile, 75 cents above that dollar 63. Freight is starting to rock. Freight is starting to rock. Quit crying. Get out there. Make some money. Get your business right. Right? Upright the ship. Time to go. Two fourteen dollar twenty four is the last two weeks. Now it's two fourteen ninety cents above. Going Greenwich, Ohio to Stanley, Wisconsin. You will not see this at the Big Orange. You will not get two fourteen a mile to Wisconsin. You might get ninety cents or a buck. You are not getting two fourteen. Last Lordstown, Ohio to Lancaster, PA. Boom. There's a there's an automotive factory, Lordstown. Big GM plant, right? Sits right off the highway. Call it something else now, probably. Uh, there you go, 750, Look, Rich Rappa, get the thumbs up. I got the Duraplate Aero Skirts for a Wabash. That's right, Aeroplate Dura Skirts are the best. Rich Rappa, if you can get those, they're the best. You know why? Because they come in sections. So if you ruin a section, you can just replace it, unbolt it, replace it, to where if you get all solid piece, you're bumming. Uh, Tim Town says, what is the difference between truck and office from basic to pro version for one truck operation? So is pro necessarily needed? Thanks in advance. The pro version gives you a few extra things, right? I think it'll do your IFTA, um, and stuff like that. It should tell you what it is. And if not, call up Alan Campbell and the folks they're in trucking office, and they will, um, they will tell you what the different actual difference is. Uh, you should be able to see the difference if you're looking it up. And if you're going to use trucking office, then there's a discount code right there if you want it. And you get 10% off for life. 10% off for life if you use BRN 2018. There's your good discount code. Our operation manager is telling us uh, right now we are doing weird things to keep moving while taking care of our contract customers. That's right, Don. I truly hope this will serve as an eye-opener and learning experience for all the snowflake voters so this bad time in black guy in our history uh, isn't <laughs> then to repeat itself. <laughs> uh, Day Express, what's going on? <laughs> all right. So we roll on down here and we see all this good freight in Ohio and Indiana. Chop tank, $1.76. To the Boston Mass, where the roads suck. 
All right, so look at all that good freight. Boom, boom, boom. Little Mac, get over there. Get back over to Ohio in Indiana. Get some of that good freight. Get out of Pennsylvania. Booze, these loads are going fast. Look, no longer, bam, no longer, bam. Just updating like that. Boom. I already showed you the money, Eugene. You're, you're late. You're late, man. And I scared Eddie half to death when I played this uh, these tunes, right? I click this. Oh my god. Oh my god. Hey, I scared him. Eugene. I scared him. And he got upset. Because I woke him up. Thanks for watching. Hey, you guys, why are you afraid to call in? We could have a really great call-in show because we'd actually talk about business. Actually talk about how to make money in trucking. I don't know. Don't be afraid to call. Maybe tomorrow. We'll see you later. <laughs> All right. We're out of here. John Armstrong, last. You get the last word, John. I want to thank John for buying me a Tesla. Model S, right there. Awesome car. A little hard to fit into. A little hard to fit into, but it'll it'll get you where you need to go. <clears throat> Anybody that bought the apples, awesome apples. Ask Eddie. Eddie got some. Those are huge apples from the gourmet apple cart, man. Uh, sorry, Shannon, John, Moon Fleet Trucking. You didn't, you didn't get the apples. They kind of made a detour, went to Texas and around, and all that good stuff. Stuart, appreciate it, man. Um, and then we'll do load planner, right? We will click on load planner tomorrow, probably do some load planning, see how much money you can make, uh, and so forth. We'll do a little load planning action and see how that goes. And if you want to do one real quick, we'll do the 14th and we'll do the 19th, right? Just do that five days and we're going to go out to California. Willie and the gang, Scott. Scott needs to call me someday. Make sure he's okay. Got to check up on him. All right. Find trips. This is Reefer. Now nah, we don't want reefer. We want van. Let's look for van. Um, I'm going to have to get this off the planner here. Like I cancel this stuff out. This is old stuff. This is for rich rapper stuff. We got to get over here. Now let's do this. Let's find. Dude, dude, it's probably going to be good here. Let's see what we got. 7, 10 a day going to Utah, Arizona. Bam, bam. Logan, Utah. So, let's go over here to Phoenix. We add that to the planner. It's rocking and rolling. Yeah, super awesome. Traverse City Cherry is the best. Family voted. That's right. That That is an awesome apple. Eugene Walsh, what apples? I'm missing. You are missing out. It's called Gourmet Apple Cart. They're out of Flint, Michigan at the Farmer's Market. They will ship anywhere. Their shipping's kind of weird to get to. If you can't find out how to ship it to yourself, just call the young lady. She'll hook you up. Homemade. They put a lot of effort into it, and you won't be dissatisfied. All right. You can go back over to Henderson, Nevada, back to California. Let's go to Henderson, Nevada. They only got one load there. We're going to take our chances, folks. And let's say we go there, and boom. Boom. Go back to Rialto. It's not much money. Gets us back. And if we look at the planner, there's your three loads. We wouldn't want to do that. That's no money there. We cancel that one out. Get that one out of there. Here's two loads, two days. $1,474. $1,228 on the profit. $246 fuel. 700 miles. There you go. I got some there. Great, says Ralph. Floto. 
Uh, John Armstrong, I got two apples. They were so big I haven't even finished the first one. Darn good apples. Right. That's right. Darn good apples. Um, if you missed out, let's see here. We go to the gourmet apple cart. This is what you're missing out on. If you use our code, if you use our code, you get 25% off. It's in the description below. 25% off these apples. So, you can hit order now. This is, they use the crisp Granny Smith apples. They get them specially delivered. It's not the average apple. These are their locations, the two locations, but they'll ship anywhere. And if you click order online, uh, we don't want to get that off of there. This will show you the pictures whenever they come up of the apples. Here they come. Here, let's zoom it in. Look at that. Now, Eddie's family voted. Eddie's family voted. And when you get down here to the Michigan pistachio crisp walnut pistachio apple pie Traverse City Cherry. This one right here. Voted. They voted it is the best. This caramel apple perfectly blends with sweet, creamy caramel, tart, dried Traverse City cherries, and a heavy drizzle of rich, dark chocolate. The perfect combination. Look at that. You can even see the cherry goodness right here. You can even see it right in there. The caramel poking through. Your drizzle of rich, dark chocolate. Mouth-watering. Mouth-watering. And if you have those Nutella fans, yes, they do have a Nutella apple. They got about anything you could think of. The peanut butter cup, the Hawaiian, the payday. Everybody likes a good payday. And if you like bacon, boom, they got a maple bacon coming to you soon. Uh, John got this one right here, the lemon cheesecake. You probably had a little wine to go with it. Right, John? A uh, little lemon cheesecake. Bam. That's what you missed out on. We're out of here. Use the code in the description. You can get 25% off. There you go. Deliver right to your house. Yeah, Eddie wants to know how the lemon cheesecake is. Well, you can act like you do, John. You can just get yourself a little uh, prune juice or something, you know, a little little grape juice. Uh, you know, kick back, cut your apple. Delish, right? All right. So we're out of here. See ya.